There is a tremendous rate of attrition in the pharmaceutical R&D business. Many of the programs that we start, um, for one reason or another, do not make it through to the clinic. Part of the reason for this is that we don't have a suite of technologies that allow a pretty good predictive analysis of what will and will not be successful. There is a tremendous suite of tools available to most pharmaceutical R&D researchers these days. Everything from genetics, genomics, imaging, structural uh, biology, rational drug design. The challenge is that in combination, many of them will point in a direction, but none of them will give an unequivocal positive or negative about the outcomes. So one of the big opportunities I believe that pharmaceutical R&D companies have is to really employ a technology that allows you to track the efficacy and the safety safety profile of a molecule all the way through to the clinic. And any technology that allows that reasonable prediction is going to be highly valued by pharmaceutical R&D workers. Metabolomics allows me to see more than any other omics technique. And it allows me to more quickly translate a compound into the clinic. The best part about metabolomics is that you can see signals for both safety and efficacy at the same time. And if you can see that, you can actually go, this compound's effective, but it doesn't look like it has the right safety signals. Let's kill that compound. If you see one that's in the same family, but it shows good efficacy, but the safety is much less, that's the route you're gonna go for the next iteration of making that compound better. So you can keep checking it back and forth to understand, are you getting better efficacy or safety? And what is the trade-off between the two? Attrition is a big problem, and it contributes substantially to the cost of developing a drug and then how much that drug costs on the market. The way that I see metabolomics playing into that is that because you know how all the enzymes and pathways interact through 100 plus years of research, you can say pretty convincingly that this is impacting this specific target and has very little or no off-target effects. A lot of the technologies that we've worked with usually target one aspect of some process in the body. The beauty of metabolomics is that it lets the body do the work and essentially integrates all of those functions. And what you get is an aggregate yield of all the changes that the body has actually undertaken. So what you're seeing is the sort of end product of a lot of different interactions, biochemically, cellularly, in the body to yield that metabolomic profile. And once you have that, you know that you have a good drug. And you should understand both the safety and efficacy simultaneously from one experiment. It saves you a ridiculous amount of time and money Right? If you're developing biomarkers to take to the clinic that don't translate, you've failed before you even gotten there. It's confidence in picking the right molecule, the right compound for the right target in the right population. We want to discover drugs. I don't want to build up another institution within the company. And I knew it would take years and years to get the same expertise that was already being delivered by Metabolon. Metabolon has spent 15 years honing this and developing the top-of-the-line, state-of-the-art system for metabolomic research. Anybody can run a mass spec or chromatography. What they don't anticipate is the volume of data and how to manage that. Metabolon has created its own uh, software that allows us to reduce the, the noise of mass spec analysis and positively match the signatures from the samples and the biochemicals we identify with those that are in the Metabolon library. If you're looking to do that on your own, there's a 10-year gap between what you're getting ready to set out to do and what we're currently doing. 
Metabolon has an incredible analytics and interpretive capability internally that allow you to analyze the data. That knowledge can really help investigators make good decisions about whether drugs are going to go all the way or whether they're going to experience some potential problems. Metabolon has continued to invest in their technology to the point where they're able to resolve greater than 2,000 metabolites from the human body now. It's a phenomenal achievement given where they started a few years ago. We've actually redrawn the wall chart of biochemistry based on real data because that initial wall chart was developed using enzymatic assays. So they're looking at this specific reaction and when you overload this side, it looks like it's unidirectional. But in reality, it's bidirectional and we can identify different cofactors and other pathways that play in to a pathway that was thought to be isolated. I think the interesting thing, and it kind of seems mundane, but it's not, is actually seeing the staff of biochemists just sitting in the back room that are actually dedicated to all the projects that happen within the laboratory. The laboratory area is very impressive. We all have laboratories. But actually seeing that there's actually humans doing the final data interpretation and getting this report out that is very informative and gives you that next level of knowledge to go forward. The Tabalon really is a package of capabilities that work well together. They've been designed that way, they work best that way. And I think the Tabalon as a company, given their track record, you know, which includes greater than 500 publications in top tier peer reviewed journals, you're buying into a tremendous level of experience and expertise with this company. They really are probably second to none in this area. It's not just another analysis and data dump where you're left to sort out as the consumer of this what the details are and what the meanings are. People like myself and other biochemists look at this data, this type of data, day in and day out under numerous scenarios and we put context to that so that it instantaneously gives you biological relevance. If you do not have metabolomics expertise, it's a very tough field to build into. We had some institutional knowledge of metabolomics. We had had done an internal effort before and actually had shut it down many years ago. And we knew we didn't want to do that experiment again. So the partnership made sense. One of the things I've experienced uh, working in pharmaceutical R&D is that we're approached by a lot of companies who offer a technology or some kind of platform that will give us some unique insight into the mechanism of action of drugs. I haven't come across anything as good as metabolomics in the time that I've been working with it, and I've probably been exposed to Metabolon now for probably four or five years. It's a very powerful technology, and if I had to take my toolbox, empty it out, and think about what tools I would put back in there, I can honestly say that Metabolomics and Metabolon's platform would be one of the first that went back in that toolbox. I view it with that level of importance.